ओके सिक्सटीन डी क्यू डी पी इंटू पी बाई क्यू आपको निकालना है दिस इज दिटी डी क्यू डी पी है माइनस ट्वेंटी माइनस ट्वेंटी इंटू थ्री बाई टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस सिक्सटी बाई टू टू सिक्स ऑप्शन को देखिए माइनस सिक्सटी बाय वन एटी का वैल्यू होता है माइनस पॉइंट थ्री 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 ठीक है सो दिस विल बी लोअर देन दैट बट नॉट एज लो एज पॉइंट वन और पॉइंट जीरो फाइव और पॉइंट दिस ये सब हो नहीं सकता है दिस इज द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल आंसर ठीक है पॉइंट टू सिक्स Also, this will be slightly greater than sixty by two forty. Sixty by two forty is point two five. Slightly greater than point two five. So point two six. Assume that the consumer's utility function is given like this: money income, consumer ka optimal bundle. Both are uh, bad commodities. If I consume X beyond one and Y beyond one, so how much should they consume? They should consume one comma one. सिटीएशन पॉइंट है वन कॉमा वन पे वन के बाद में एक्स एंड वाई बोथ बिकम बैड कमोडिटीज तो इंडिफरेंस कर्व कैसा है ये है वन ये है वन इंडिफरेंस कर्व है सर्कुलर सेंटर है वन कॉमा वन तो फर्दर यू मूव अवे फ्रॉम द सिटीएशन पॉइंट दिस इज द सिटीएशन पॉइंट और द्लिस पॉइंट कॉल द्लिस पॉइंट the further you are from the bliss point the lower is the utility so the closer you are to the bliss point the better it is and the bliss point is completely attainable here because money income is equal to 10 so answer over 1 If I have to uh, produce Q is equal to ten, basically ten is equal to min of k by one comma l by two. Now both have to be the same. The min function, you know. So ten is equal to k by one is equal to l by two. So k to a gaya ten, l a gaya twenty. Answer is four. Yeah. Okay. Production cost of basics absolutely. Nineteen, see. Plus Q two into here. यहां से क्या आएगा फाइव क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू इज इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड फिर उसके बाद में फाइव टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस क्यू टू बाई टू माइनस क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू बाई एट Is equal to zero. ठीक है द 
this one by four will not be there. Sorry. So this will basically change things. Okay, so 500 is equal to 2Q1 plus Q2. Ye hoga? Ye first equation aaya. So ye ya, se aayega 300 is equal to Q1 plus 2Q2. Hai na? 600. 600, yeah. 300 into 2, 600, yeah. So 600 is equal to Q1 plus 2Q2. And then when I solve it simultaneously, I'll get option 1. So 400 by 3 and 700 by 3. So I get two equations and two unknowns. Now why did I not get this? Because I write this as minus 1 by 4 common and then I differentiate. So I made an error here, multiplying it by 1 by 4. Forget about that. Solve it in that way and you'll get the answer as 1. <clears throat> you take a look at this. For uh, player 1, T is uh, completely dominant over B. B is a dominated strategy. See? It's 2 versus 1, 1 versus 0, and 4 versus 3 for the first person. So he'll never play B. Okay. Yeah. Now, similarly for player 2, C is completely dominated. Right. So 0, 4. So if the first person plays T, Second person will play R, first person plays M, second person will play L. So, five. Question number 21. This is the supply curve of the market. This is the demand curve of the market. If I equate them. Price is equal to marginal cost. For the firm. For each firm. So what is the marginal cost here? 4Q. Is equal to 4. Q is equal to? Answer. So how many firms will be there? Can you tell me? Total quantity of the market is 20 and the production by each firm is 1. So total number of firms will be 20. Not asked in the question but Additional question can easily be given. 20 firms will be there. 22. There's a 20% probability that the artist will become famous and the painting will be worth 5,000. 5 5% destroyed in a fire or some disaster. If the painting is not destroyed, this one will be worth 400. 400 multiplied by into 1 by 5, 20% probability. Production possibility frontier question only A will be true. 
If there is excess capacity in a production facility, it is likely that the firm supply curve is elastic because I have excess capacity. I will want to produce more. So if I get a little bit extra more price, I will be able to produce a lot more. So it has to be price elastic. <clears throat> is basically equal to producer surplus plus the consumer surplus producer surplus will be 1000 consumer surplus will also be 1000 producer surplus is the area answer should be number 5 but it's given in the answer key as this is basically the consumer surplus. <laughs> Repeated. For a price ceiling to be binding constraint, the government needs to set it below the equilibrium price. Compared to perfectly competitive monopoly, higher prices, lower output. Again, same. No. Supply is more elastic than the. The supply curve is less elastic than the demand curve. Demand curve is more flatter supply curve is more steeper in this case so that's why the tax component which is basically the loss in the in the producer surplus is more than the loss in the consumer surplus Four. <clears throat> 